Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have the absolute pleasure of being joined by Sophia Ali. We're going to be talking about India Sweets and Spices, a lovely film that I saw at Tribeca. Sophia, can you say hi to everybody? An absolute pleasure. Oh my goodness, yes. what a expectations there. What if I'm not a pleasure? Listen, listen, you can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> hi, everybody. <laughs> this, listen, this movie was pretty damn funny and you're the you're at the centerpiece of it. Do you consider yourself funny? Thank you. Do I consider myself f- funny? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I want to be funny. I consider myself someone who wants to be funny. I get that. I, that's me every single day. So I that's get up it. to other people. They decide. Yeah. Well, for the record, Oops. you're pretty. You're pretty funny because you already had me laugh, and wow, we're like two you. minutes in. So <laughs> that's good. Now, what was it like working with Gita? I got to talk to her earlier today, and she's actually quite lovely. What was it like yeah. working with her? Fantastic. So great. She's um, very intelligent, um, and just she's she's constantly. Um, inspired by what she's doing you know um and she's adapting and finding herself in it and um it's like an exciting revelation you know with her um it's never like she never if she's frustrated you don't know if she's you know jaded you don't know um everything about her is just like positive and and uplifting and um so yeah it's inspiring I love that. I love that. How much of Aliyah is in is you? So much of it. So much of it. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I, I loved this script. I just related to Aliyah so much. She's a loud mouth uh, rebel. Is that and you? Are you a loud mouth rebel? Yeah. I want. I want to be. Again, I want to be these things, but I really never know how I'm being perceived <laughs> well I can tell you I can tell you it, it's something that we should all aspire to be a loud mouth rebel speaking up for ourselves especially in the situations that Aaliyah gets herself into in this particular movie yeah you know uh, standing up to her aunties which there are quite a few of them uh, now have you ever had that situation where your aunties are just talking about you behind your back is that something that oh happens? yes oh my gosh yes 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 yeah see oh. I, I I'm Latino, so it's we have the same thing. It's mm. just that they do it in Spanish instead. Right. <laughs> always behind, never in front, in our face, always behind our backs. So mm-hmm. I wanted no, to ask in, you. In our faces sometimes, too. Yeah. I, oh, I'll okay. have aunties be like, you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get told that all the time by my aunts. I, I hate them. <laughs> oh, mainly because it's true. But I would hate fine. it if I was really fat. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I, I actually, actually am. Bad, so. like, uh, no, uh, it's all good oh, though. Man, uh, poor thing. I, I love it. It's, it, it happens. So, oh, right. I wanted to ask. I mean, you're already thinking it. Yeah, I am. I wanted to ask you. I who are some inspirations? Not about you, <laughs> uh, I get you. We all think that about ourselves. It's kind of a thing with human nature. I wanted to ask you about maybe some people who inspire you as an actress in doing what you do. Who are some people? Um, I've been like constantly inspired by the people that I'm working with. Um, you just learn different things, different avenues. Everyone's got different, you know, avenue that they took that they got there with. So they've got a different process and whatnot. And it's really interesting. Um, but I really loved Meryl Streep growing up. I thought that she was really cool. Okay, cool is not the word. Natural. Um, like she, she added a sim- like this simple, natural um, movement to something that's to something that seems bland on paper. Like if she's just looking at something, it's like you can see her find it and discover it and react to it and you know what she's thinking you know I feel like that it was rare to find and she's definitely been an an inspiration a lot to me throughout my career awesome I love that I love that because she's one of the greatest living actresses alive so I mean and yeah right she has these like nuanced things that she does 
in her performance and makes a performance. That's a great pick. Uh, I wanted to ask you the hardest question I'm going to ask you, and Gita almost wanted to punch me when I asked it. She didn't. She's very nice. Uh, if you had could only watch two movies for the rest of your life, what two would you pick? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the stupid answer, but it is true because I would never be bored. But um, Shrek one and two. Uh, okay, Shrek one and two. That's not a bad answer. Okay. I mean, love the music, love the content. It, they're both so different, but same characters. So I feel like it would be a easy Constant thing loop. to just like watch. Yeah, that's a great answer. I don't that's think I'd ever answer. get bored. No, great answer. Plus, there's a great some great music in there that I, you know, got a dashboard could, confessional song. I, mean, I could have watched it yesterday and then be with someone today, and they're like, "Let's watch Shrek." I'd be like, "Okay." <laughs> That's a great answer. I, it's so interesting that you picked Shrek too. That's like so cool, actually. I love that movie. That that like elevated movie. your that elevated your cool. <laughs> now let's thank let's, God. Uh, right? I, nah, you're cool, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> let's uh, let's. <laughs> Let's try to convince the audience to watch your movie. How would you, what would you tell them and why they need to see India Sweets and Spice? Um, I'm not going to say you need to see it, but if you have this desire or want to maybe like broaden your perspective, um, it's a good movie for that. I think that um, a lot of times we watch things that are so similar to us constantly and um, they stop being relatable because they're so similar, you know, but this is, this is something that is relatable, but told through a different lens. And if you open your mind and put yourself in that position, um, almost learn more about yourself than you ever will. I like that. I normally would ask you what you're doing next, but I know what you're doing next and you're going to be a huge star after it comes out. So uh, looking forward to seeing you in Uncharted and can't wait to, to see how that turns out. She's going to be playing Thank Chloe you. in Uncharted, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and so if you don't see th this and you should definitely see that I don't even know if it's any good we'll find out <laughs> same now uh, I wanted to sit here and ask you if anybody wanted to follow you or see your journey and, and all that how would they how would they do that Instagram is probably the best way for me it's the only real social platform that I'm on um, yeah Instagram Got it. So, guys, follow her on Instagram. Annoy her. I wonder your, if there's a better answer, but I don't know. Don't DM her. <gasps> don't DM me. <laughs> no. Unless it's but sexual that. and midnight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, don't tell these do people that. that. Do don't not do tell that. these people that. No, don't do that. I don't read my DMs anyway. That's a harassment suit waiting to happen. <laughs> and she's way too cool. Don't bother, don't bother her. Ladies and gentlemen, really. it's been my pleasure to, to hang out with a little bit, you know, to hang out with Sophia here just for a little bit today. We appreciate you. We hope everybody will check the movie out. And thank you so much for, you know, being annoyed by us for about 10 minutes and letting us talk to you. Your hair looks fabulous, by the way. Thank you, you deserve thank to be you. told that. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>